One, two, three, fun! <laughs> We are back in Charleston and we're taking the Jeep out. <laughs> we are a whopping zero feet above sea level. And you know, we've been back from the trip. The dust has kind of settled from all the excitement, you know, of being in Moab and rock crawling, driving with Rich. And you know, after you know a week or two of being back, the focus of our, the Jeep build has really started to shift and change a little bit. Why? Why? Uh, I thought you were gonna do this part. Yeah, so our goals have kind of shifted because we are in the low country. The nearest mountains are like four or five hours away. But at the end of the day, we realize we can still benefit from a Jeep build. So our goals are shifting now to where, all right, well, we are in the low country. We're out in the East Coast. There's not a lot of rocks, but there is a lot of opportunities uh, for adventures. And I think now for us, our lifestyle, you know, being a film crew, uh, being super adventurous, and this still being uh, Ethan's everyday driver, um, but we're really gonna actually tailor this build to an overlanding style. We're still gonna build it so it's off-road capable. You know, this is going to Trail Hero and it will be completing a level five trail. More normal adventures like this, like us, you know, taking the girls out, uh, campfires, fishing, um, family stuff is gonna be, you know, probably 60 to 70% of it. So we just wanna cater the, the build towards that and make sure that our Jeep build is functional for us. Honestly, me and Graham haven't really had a chance to actually talk about, you know, what do we really want on this Jeep? You know, what what do we need to- We know what we put, need. Yeah, what do, well, what do we need to put on this thing? What are like, what are our goals? So we're gonna talk about that at the boat landing. To start off, I guess Rich always says the wheels and tires is first. Everyone says you need bead locks, but we're realizing honestly for our needs because we're here and all the rocks are here, we don't need bead locks. We just need a good solid rim and a good wheel. And I think we're gonna go with 37 inch tires um, because it's not too big, it's not too small, it's just enough for what we're doing. We, we, uh, we don't have to lock. We know we're, we're gonna need some suspension. Honestly, I have no idea what kind we need yet. There's tons of them out there. Fox, Rough Country, Dirt Logic, Falcon. Guy Jacker, Rock Jock. So there's a ton. And honestly, I don't know the difference. So it'll be interesting to see if like we need, you know, three in the front, three in the back, or if we need to offset like higher in the back actually to give it a flat ride. But definitely suspension is needed and, uh, and that's what we're gonna look for. We're learning a lot about bumpers and why they're useful. One, because they protect the car, but also because you can mount a winch on it. Especially out here, like it's muddy, it's wet, and it can get, your car can get stuck. So having a winch is a huge deal for us. This rear bumper is not good. <laughs> the problem with this is if you see, it actually goes even lower than the normal bumper. That basically lowers your departure angle. So that's where like the front bumper and rear bumper really go hand in hand because we need that clearance. We need to have the towing and we need to be able to winch. On all the off-road vehicles, I didn't see very many actually towing packages, but that is a need that we 100% are gonna need because we, we haul this bad boy everywhere, even to the mountains. <laughs> So we're gonna need lights. Uh, not only, you know, right in front of you, but also like ambient inside. I'm one of those guys that like a lot of lights, but I think as far as needs, I think we just need a few, you know, far, close, um, ambient, and the cool factor. <laughs> <laughs> Can we change the white balance on them? Yes. So not only do we need lights here in the front though. Follow me. If we have like a rack system or stuff up there, we're gonna need lights up here that cast down. So if you're setting up a tent, like this old uh, Smitty built, the Gen 1 here, you know, it's nice to have light shining around you at night so you don't have to carry a flashlight. I think what's gonna be really important is lighting into the truck bed. We're always hauling gear. We got our light boxes back here now, but as you're tinkering around, you definitely wanna be able to see in there so you can pull, pull out the tools you need and um, work smarter, not harder. 
This might look cool, but this is actually a rack from Amazon and it's very cheap. It looks cool, it looks sturdy, but it's not. It can't, it can, it doesn't hold a lot of weight. So this is probably gonna end up going. Love the Smitty built stuff. I've had this tent for years and it's been going really strong. So I personally love the Smitty built. We'll probably do something around this um, cause the tent is super important cause there is gonna be four of us. So we gotta figure out- There's gonna be four of us. There's gonna be four one. of us in this tent. <laughs> Here's the thing about rock catchers. They look cool. They do make it easier to step up into a vehicle, but obviously these bad boys right here is what gets caught. I've actually seen a few that, you know, you press a button and they come, they kind of like fold down and then you can step up and then they close and they lock cool. back in. I, I forget who makes it, but if we're talking about a wish list, cause then you have a rock slider and you still have a step up, especially if your vehicle's really high. Everyone said three to five would give you all the clearance that you need. So three to five inch, 37 inch tires, 17 inch rims. That's what our wish list is. How are we gonna pay for all that? <laughs> well, <laughs> Let me take my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Off the grid uh, shirt. This is the Squirrely Dan. My favorite thing. They have this cool little spot for your sunglasses. Because I always mine it either on my head or around my neck and they always fall off. Now they're right here. I want one. <laughs> Why do we need good so, fenders? So this, this fender's missing for a reason. <laughs> oh, no, shit. I think it's just the... Uh... What's going on here? <laughs> Dude. Um, few reasons. So we need stronger fenders for two reasons. So they don't come off, they're higher set so that way your tire has more travel, but also so you can like step in, step onto the, the ledge so that way we can access the tent, access the pelican cases, the, potentially the roof. So all this stuff comes into play and we're learning that, all right, there's a reason you make a Jeep build. There's a reason that you tailor it to your needs. And for us, like these are our needs. It's just exciting, you know? It's fun to kind of nerd out about some of this stuff, but you know, it's all for the greater purpose, which is to get outside and to, to adventure. back to the why. Why did we do this show in the first place? <laughs> I think back to like, why did I even buy the Jeep even? I mean, it was expensive. <laughs> it was kind of impulse decision, but I saw something in it. And then since we bought it, you know, then all of a sudden a lot of opportunities opened up where you had the great idea of like, all right, well, what if we just turn this and like this keeps us in the scene of Trail Hero and like the off-roading industry. And You know, I think what connected all the dots for me was, you know, seeing how excited like everyone got from Trail Hero. The underlying theme is we all love fun and adventure. To me, it's like that just kind of is the why we're going through all this to unlock more adventures, but also to go further, right? Go more remote. And really to do that, you need, you know, a little bit more gear, a little bit more planning. So it's like to take that adventure to the next level. I think we're making the right move by switching gears a little bit towards overlanding rather than just mm -hmm. rock crawling. I think we'll have a lot more fun and a lot more adventures that way.